everyone and welcome back to Madison. I'm sorry, it's going to take a minute for the game to like pop up on the screen. I don't know why it does that. This is like the only game that like takes a while to pull up. Oh, nope, there it went. Hello, audio. And Pander, how's it going? It's been a busy, busy day at work. Stupid people keeping me in business. Um, you're making food? What are you making? I am really surprised that you eat this late, because for you it's like 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> like, like, chickadee, what are you doing? <clears throat> I am really hoping to finish this game today, because we only have like 20% of the story left. So, I am hopeful that we're going to finish it. We are 82% of the way. It's okay. It's okay. I, I Believe me, I understand the thing. I made uh, a spam and rice thing not too long ago. And, like, I diced up the spam into, like, little cubes. And then I did this, like, Asian peanut butter sauce. Yeah, like, I understand, like, when you're like, it's it's this thing. Like, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's food, and it has these components. It actually was very good. Oh, we're in the dark. Oh, it didn't save that? Oh, okay, well. At least I know what I'm doing-ish, kinda. Okay. So we have to go turn the lights back on, and then we we're gonna go into... Wood. And then we're gonna go into the clock room. That's the thing, is it doesn't have to make sense. It, it can be the most random amalgamations of ingredients, but it, it is food. It is an edible dish of food. Okay, so now we're going in here. My mom used to call it FOSS, food of some sort. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Uh, oh, it's downstairs. That's... Uh, my hands. This is what the priest was talking about. Luca, ow, ow, that ow, my thing ears. Is, <laughs> thing ow. is feeding off of me. <laughs> what the fuck does this even mean? It's the house clock. is full of clocks. You don't say it. Yeah. It's like this boy like hasn't been here this whole time. Like, yes, there are clocks. <laughs> Excuse me, what? It's locked. Okay, I can see... <clears throat> what is it wanting me to use? Because I think that's the first time I've actually been able to like access it like that, but... <clears throat> Break the lock! Combination. Oh, okay, so this is the other half of that combination in the bathroom. Okay, so it's three left, twelve blank, and then I'm assuming the other half is in the bathroom because it's got the same green spirals on it. I used to work in here. Okay, so some of them are missing the top ones. Some of them are missing the bottom ones. So I'm wondering if there's like some sort of universal key or if there's just like if you have to match certain ones. I'm not sure how that works. But the weird thing is 
this hole in the wall. I just apparently wrongfully assumed that the room would be like on the same level. And then, so it's 12, right, and then 5, left. Okay, okay. You have a good dinner. <coughs> Excuse me? Okay, I, I think that I'm like amping up the actual like interaction with, like the interaction with the environment. because. I don't think it actually closed doors before, but it sure as heck is now. Some of these doors, I wonder if they'll actually ever open or if they're just always going to be closed. This one we're going to get into eventually, because it's got a picture that means it's important. Um. Jesus. When did the sofa get up there? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Has that. No, that hasn't always been there, has it? Oh, shrikes! Oh, gosh! Oh, I'm sitting here staring at the uh, shelf, going, did they move the shelf? It seems like a little bit of a tight squeeze. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot more interaction. Okay, so three to the left, twelve to the right. And five to the left. John, my son, I'm an old man already, and life has passed to, and life has passed to all of us. I'm so proud to see the man you've become, so happy to have deeply enjoyed the two grandchildren that you gave me, Luca and Chanel. I write this letter so that one day you can understand everything that's going through my mind right now and debunk the myth that I am a crazy old man. God does exist, and some, or, and just like him uh, does Satan. All my life I tried hard not to believe, but time has shown me I was profoundly mistaken. Your mother was not sick after all. I couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. As far-fetched as it sounds, Blue Knees is real. Why do they keep calling it Blue Knees? Like, I get it's the story, but like... Not a single specialist was able to trace down the cause of her condition, not to mention find a treatment to help her fight. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her I believed you. I kept trying to contact her for over 15 years. I just wanted to speak with her one last time. Soon we'll meet again and I'll beg her to forgive me. This loneliness reminds me day after day how hard it gets to live without any, er, uh, with my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I can see her face in every room of this huge house. Regarding the book, I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it, but there's no use bothering. It somehow manages to get back. Anyway, now I keep it in my possession under lock and key. I will not allow history to repeat itself. Thank you for being the son I always dreamt to have. Love your dad, Albert Maxwell. Dun, dun, dun. So grandpa finally uh, believed grandma. Couch thing is uh, it's kind of kind of kind of weird. Okay, so now that we have that clock bit, I'm wondering. Like I said, I'm wondering if it's a universal key or do we have to find the one that matches it? I don't know why that fan just creeped me out. Oh, shit. Gosh dang 
it! Okay, okay, this, this is gonna be a lot harder <laughs> to maintain my, my cool than I thought. <laughs> they're, uh, they're amping up, they really are. And <laughs> not a vibe, not a vibe. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to the first clock. The very first clock that we saw. Oh yeah, huh. I forgot about the banging on the door. Oh, what? Sorry. Just one second. I'm checking to make sure the neighbor's not outside. Oi! Nuh uh. Go away. Quit it. Sorry. We're, we're trying to work with Rom and Atlas about not barking at the neighbors. I had to make sure that the neighbor wasn't in the backyard. <sighs> okay, well. Okay, so what happens? Okay, so it made four chimes? Oh, crap. This is going to get really convoluted really fast. Because there's a lot of clocks. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so they all chime four. Yeah, I just looked and I was like, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to these clocks, is there? Like, I have 130 in my hand. Twelve twenty-five. Like, what are we angling for? I don't even know. I don't know what we're hoping for. Like, okay, all these clocks are on the same time. They're at 9.30. Wait a second. Okay, what do we have here? We have 1.30. Where was 1.30? I had a 1.30. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Okay, so this is... It's like three sixteen. Four. Wait. Okay. Never. I'm having like a hard time reading these. Okay. So what is that? It was five ten. Um, 
Okay, so what's four twenties in my hand right now? I'm getting it! She can be taught. I'm not looking forward to anything that's happening here, but I I should I have to like lean forward to see my computer. Shut up! Son of a gun! Quit it! Okay, so these ones are gonna be harder. Okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should have just tried to match the ones that were... Okay, actually... <sighs> Let me go back to the room real quick. Let me find all the times that I need. So that way I can just run through the house, find all the clocks, and just yoink the faces. Okay. So this one is going to be 9.30. So we need a 9.30. I think it's because the hour and the minute hand look too, um, too similar on those ones. Okay, so this one needs to be 8.15. Okay. This one we already got set, and this one needs to be 510. What is in my hand? 420. Okay, so I'm just looking for those times. I'm assuming. Because the other walls don't actually have any like indicators. I'm just assuming something's bad, like something bad is gonna happen every time I go back to this area, so I'm just like, Brace! <laughs> Told you! What did I say? What did I say? Brace! Brace for it! <sighs> okay. That is none of the times that I need. <sighs> She's getting to me! She's getting to my brain! <laughs> Is that my 815? 820. It's been a long time since I've read analog okay. Oh, no. Ah, quit moving. Okay, yeah, no, that's 820. So we should be good. Okay, so maybe yeah, no, I think I got it wrong. So that should be one of them, but that means we're missing clocks then, because if none of the other ones match... Okay, so that's nine... What is it? Is it this one? Yeah. So now we need to remember where all of the clocks are in the house. Okay, so that one's done. Yeah, they're just really amping up the atmosphere and I'm, uh... <laughs> no preach! No preach! Like, it just, it makes my body clench up. And I just ate dinner, so like my stomach is starting to ache. Shit, talky mushrooms hot. My, my body's just clenching up too much and it hurts. They are, like, I, the closer we get to actually solving things, the more, like, atmospheric interactions we have. And I'm like, <laughs> thank you. That one's still locked. What 
way more interactions than usual. So the last one we need, because that was 510. The last one we need is 9.30, and my guess is that it's in the attic. Because that's the last clock I remember. Oh, just breathe, just brace yourself, chickadee. I don't wanna. statue what happened to the nice statue that like didn't didn't like freak me that f out <sighs> like the statue the first couple times was like oh my gosh and then it was like oh yeah ha 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 now it's now they're going straight up for like all the super creepy ones I almost just want to like look down so that I can't see anything. I'm like, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, I'm already dead. Oh. We did some- Oh boy. Just look down. Take a picture of it. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, because I remember. Okay, so we have three, two, and five. So we're getting close to figuring out the rest of the numbers. We only have like one left. It seems like he never finished this one. Oh, wait. You're kidding me, right? Well, you're going to have to, Luca. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Well, then you shouldn't feel it. Why is this happening to me? Uh, bad luck? <laughs> this must be a combination of something. Okay, what is... Okay, so four, 
four. I'm going from the center out. So it's four to the left. But they're all four. Wait, what? Or is it, I can't tell if the like red is an indicator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the right. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven left. I can't tell if the red ticks are supposed to be an indicator or not. Is it the clock? I think I can do anything with it right now. The only thing that comes to mind is the safe, the red safe. You can't scare me if I'm looking down. Oh, poop. Oh, it's like I got dark. <laughs> it got dark and it scared me. Like the noise will scare me, but the the things popping up won't. Is it this? Okay, so I'm gonna try it. Not the combination. Well, well, well. Okay, so what other hints do we have? We have that picture from Luca's journal. I don't remember drawing any of these. Of course you don't, Luca. You never do. Going insane. Luca, why do you always say that? Luca, I'm going insane. At this point, I wouldn't question myself anymore. Okay, so... Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Let's try... Maybe we... Uh, maybe the arrow actually counts as like the landing zone. So that would make it five. So it's five, that would make eight, and that would make 12. Okay, so let's try, let's try it that way. Other way. Let's try it from the bottom up, like the outer ring up. So that would be one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five. Nope. Okay, let's try bottom up with the original count. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, how 
else am I supposed to interpret that? Maybe, or maybe let's try the actual like red marks. So if we count just the red marks, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six on the outer. That's one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, and then five again. Okay, so let's let's try that. Let's try that. Um, where are we going left? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four. Aha! I was like, that's a lot of money. I was like, do the red marks mean anything? The red marks do. Hello, Diz Nerd. Uh, just so you're aware, the, uh, the jump scares are amping up. Uh, we are, we are reaching the end and they desperately want us to know that. So, uh... Just FYI. Okay, so Johnny is our dad. Ugh. This used to be Dad's room. In order to save the bird... What happened in here? The rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained, while the shark in the depths this plan designed. Okay, so shark? The frick is the bird? Oh, wait. Like. Collectible! Okay. So. Oh, sh Oh, I was like, I need another one! Okay, so. The rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. Okay, so I'm assuming that one has to be at the top. And then. Is the smaller one, and then the snake is the medium one. Yes. No. In in order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. So to me, that one says that it's the tallest one. The snake below the rat remained, while the shark in the depths is planned design. So to me, that's in the right order. Rabbit should be the highest. the rat and the snake unless it's like reversed To me, that's the right order. Oh, 
I don't know. Does anybody else have any other logic here? Oh, that's the book, Blue Knees. See, because that just takes it up. Uh -huh. Is there supposed to be another block somewhere? This is the book that everyone was talking about? Oh, is he gonna read it? Oh, he's not gonna read it? Really? A long, long time ago, there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often seen on its own. One freezing, frosty night, it began to feel so very somber that it fell into a two-day slumber. By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both its eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of the bed and started crawling, looking for his eyes it knew for sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled, its knees turned blue and sore, since its eyes popped and tumbled, both of them as dust crumbled. It is to this day that it does not have a clue, but that is no excuse to end the pursuit. And now beware those fleeting eyes, make sure to turn on the lights, for your own sight is at stake if, er, stake if you cannot escape. He's afraid of the light. Use something bright for protection. Oh, that's July. No. No, no. How is this? How is this okay? How is this? The room has changed. You don't say. I don't want to know what's in there. Oh wait, that- whoa, that's gone. She back. Wait, what? What? The attic's closed. Ah, poop! <laughs> the house feels like a maze. Wait, what? I'm sure this is what Grandma was referring to in her diary. Oh, that's not creeptastic at all! No. Oh, heck no. You know what? You know what? F it. Oh, hell no. I am not touching that. No. Let's sort of tiptoe through the tulips. Cr no, no, no. No. I'm not going to do it. He is not my friend anymore. He only wants to play with mom. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not today, Satan, not today. Where am I going? A, a blue collectible? 
excuse me, what the frick was that? Looney's told me he will eat mom's eyes. Oh. Just a closet! What the heck? There are blue collectibles now? Looney's is angry with mommy. She doesn't want to play. I don't want to play. Whoa. Wow. Oh, heck no. Uh-uh. Not gonna... What? Wait, what? Ah, poop. <laughs> Everything's a maze. It's so like the house wasn't already confusing enough. I I came from that way. I I think. I don't want to sleep alone. Blue Knees is always turning the lights off. Why? Why are the recordings everywhere? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. No. I'm like trying. I think we have to like follow the notes. Except I already read that note and I'm getting all confuzzled now. Except this light's on and it's not a closet anymore. Nope! I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. I have a new friend. His name is Blue Knees. Oh no. I don't want a friend. Blue Knees is always in the dark. He hates the light. No! Nope, nope. Gosh dang! They're like everywhere! Lini <laughs> says I have pretty eyes. <sighs> oh heck to the no! I'm pretty sure I followed all the notes. And when I go in there, there's a hole in the floor and that always says bad, bad things. Something's gonna crawl out of that hole and I don't wanna. forever. I was hoping there might be like a note or something. Cockroaches, are you gonna help me? Are you gonna lead the way? You were so helpful at one point. I really feel like the okay I'm gonna find one more music box I really feel like the cockroaches are telling me to play with the music box and I don't wanna if one more of them is surrounded by cockroaches then I know what I gotta do not in there There's 
the answer. Or at least if we're trusting the magic cockroaches. Is there a record player at the end of the hall? No. Okay, so we're going to be playing the one in the bathroom, which is objectively the creepiest room right now, just saying, besides that one. we've created in the studio today. This is impossible. But I think Dad wrote this. Okay, the house isn't where it's supposed to be anymore. And I need the kitchen. But I don't know where the kitchen is. I think? Maybe? Possibly? Ugh. I'm gonna get got and I don't, I don't wanna. Do I need to play it again? If I get yoinked, uh, that's gonna be the first thing I do is play the stupid thing again. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I make gooey sounds. Okay, I don't understand how these stories are connected. Like, perhaps it's just me, but I like well and truly don't understand how these stories are supposed to be connected. Like, what is the connection with Blue Knees and... Like, do I need a second eyeball? Oh, I did get a second eyeball. Yes? No? I can see it, but why can't I have it? Do I have to play all of the... Ah! 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 
Gosh dang it! Okay. So I'm assuming that is what I need to do, is play all of the gramophones. Get to keep what I found. Luke, I stand up faster, man. Okay, no, I have. I have one eyeball. Okay, I did that one. That's the first one I did? I did the one in the attic. I don't think this is anything. Oh.
do we already did that one. We already did the bathroom. Alright, now I feel like I just need to wait for it to show up. not the bathroom. It's not that one. Because we need a pair of eyes. And there's no, no, there's no gun phone there. We fully got this one. too much time. Oh, we are walking funky. 
Like, that's actually, like, quite nauseating. And, like, what about the door in the kitchen? What did that one mean? back over there by the fridge. Okay, is anybody else nauseated by the camera? None of the answers. Okay, we'll start with zero. to this door because we got quit bobbing and weaving my son seriously eight we we'd have been at that for a while bit that we had to do. We're going to complete this stupid ritual. Elizabeth Max... <gasps> That's my grandma! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He is. He is all the whiny. <laughs> I would 
would rather die on my own terms. Dad's head? Son. Oh, heck to the no. <laughs> and you don't have anything. Oh, wait. Oh no. I am. Um, I don't wanna. Wait, can, can I have that back, please? Uh, there's gotta be a better way to end this game. Can we not? Like, I, I don't feel like doing any pagan rituals today. Can we just shut the door? Just shut the door. Oh, God. <sighs> We're gonna go with the one ending. I, like, really feel like looking it up. Um. Alternate. Endings. <laughs> there is only one ending! There are no secret or alternate endings! You are always meant to do this, apparently. Wow! That's a crappy ending. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna use my swears. That's fucked up. That's... Oh, that's that's real fucked up. Kicker! Kicker! You still got feet! You still got feet! That... Okay. To me, that's really poor gameplay. Because in a game like this, there should be a second or third option to, like, undo what she's done. To like put these people to rest. That's that's shitty. Oh, we gotta put the head on. Cause that was like the last bit. Yes, no, maybe. See, okay, I... Oh, I took a picture of me. That's creepy. Like, there really should be another ending. Because games like this always have, like, the good ending or the bad ending. Like, you can choose to go through the easy way or, like, do a slightly harder way to where you have to, like, get more things and, like, work a little harder to get the better ending. So, I... I want to start, like... I want to start, like, ranking the games. I finished the game in under six hours! I got an achievement for that. Okay. I have I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts. Some of the puzzles are too like they don't mesh well. And then it's hard to figure out which way to go. Like they it's the path is not very straight. And a lot of these, like, locked doors, I assumed that I had a lot more time in the game because I'm like, oh, how do I access that? How do I get there? Jacob Judge, your voice is really, really annoying. Anywho, like, 
it really, I'm like, they're not connected in any way. And like, literally, on one of them, the cockroaches had to save me, and I like, I followed the cockroaches and was like, oh, like that's how you do it. There was a drawer in the grandma's room that was locked that I never could unlock. There was half of the wardrobe that I could never unlock. I never got a key or anything for it. Some of the rooms seemed really odd. Like, they used it so briefly. I liked the clock puzzles. That was fun. Having to, like, match up the analog clocks. That was fun. The jump scares were pretty good. Um, the basement... I didn't overly like the basement where, like, they were like, oh, the crowbar's in the basement. Because I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to have to go through, like, a maze in the dark to, like, find the crowbar. Well, it was sitting on a shelf. Like, uh, some of Some of it was really good. Some of the mechanics were really good. But the story doesn't make a lick of sense. Like, okay, I get that there was this serial killer chick, but it's like, how is she connected to the family? How does that make any sense? Like, why Luca? Like, did I miss something? Like, why does Madison Hale have this connection? It's not like, from what I saw and what I heard, she didn't live in the house. Like, what is the family's connection to this church? The church puzzles, by the way, were actually really fun. Uh, the candles and, like, having to figure that out. That was actually really good. Like I said, a lot of the individual puzzles are fun, but trying to figure out how everything's connected is just, like, super convoluted. The whole blue knees thing, I did, like, could not figure out how that was supposed to be, like, Related, it felt like a like a subplot. Like there was like a secondary story going on with the parents and this blue knees thing. Unless Madison Hale is supposed to be blue knees, and like I I didn't understand that. And like, did it actually kill the grandma, or did the grandma just die of this like curse? Like, how is that supposed to work? Did the grandma like finally get away out of the house? Like, I'm I'm confusion. Well, yeah, that was the whole thing, is when you completed the ritual, like, the, the person's body was supposed to be, like, like, took over. So, like, but why Luca? Why was she in my head from, like, the very beginning? Like, that's what doesn't make any sense. Like, I just showed up at this, like, my grandparents' house, and all of a sudden I'm like... Oh, no, no, no. We started off in that room where our dad's, like, yelling and screaming at us. And then we broke into the grandparents' house. And then, like, how does Hans fit in? That was another thing. Like, I don't think we ever figured out, like, that woman. That woman might have been, like, our great, great grandmother or something. But it's like, how does Hans and the fact that he was, like, a Nazi sending people to the gas chambers. Like, how how does that connect? And how does that connect with Madison Hale? And why does that... Like, I mean, it was good, but if they could make it make sense with the story, I feel like it would have been a lot better. Graphics? This game is amazing. Like, it's, it's really good graphics-wise. Story is where it loses me. Story, I'm gonna give it... Uh, six out of ten. Uh, five, five and a half, six out of ten. The individual elements are pretty good. Okay, so the so was Madison the demon? And the grandparents bought the camera and gave it to him for his birthday. Yes. Okay, but like, how does the so was Madison the demon in the camera? Okay. But how did she get into the camera? See, that's the, it's just, it's so, it's so twisty that it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So it's like, 
it, like, if you can make the leaps and the inferences, but the whole Blue Knees thing still doesn't make any sense. Because it's like, okay, was Madison Blue Knees? Like, when did that come around? Because the grandma was, like, freaking the F out. And... <sighs> Sorry, give me... No! I really, really hate my dogs right now. They don't listen. They're barking at the gosh darn neighbor. Well, like, that's the thing. All the clues were given to us, like, in order. Like, I feel like there was no... Everything that was laid out in the game, I feel, was necessary to progress. Like, the only thing that I feel were hidden were those, like, the, like, the red the red clues and stuff like that, the little red pictures that I took pictures of, the collectibles. I don't feel like anything was just left there that you could, that you didn't have to look at. So there were, to me, there were no hidden pieces of story that I could have gotten. Like, I read everything. Like, I guess the newspaper clippings, but that, like, like, that just detailed her death. And, like, there was news articles about all of her crimes and whatnot. But I don't feel like there was any, like, really important bits of story that actually may would make anything make any more sense. I don't... Like I said, I don't know. Because, like, we listened to the priest. And, like, the priest is talking about, like, this demon possession and stuff and it's like well maybe the priest was from that church because they closed in what 2022 2022 is when it was all like desolate and whatnot so like maybe and like okay i get albert albert was the grandfather we saw the picture of him when he was five but it's like Philomena, Giovanna, Pascal. I'm just gonna say Pascal. Like, where, who were they? Did they, were those the rest of the, like, the ancestors or whatnot? Was Nancy part of our family? Cause I feel like, to make things make sense, I would say it would make a lot more sense if somehow the whole Hans and Nancy, because they had kids, I think. Hans and Nancy, if their, like, granddaughter was Madison Hale, and if she was in their family tree, I feel like that would make more sense in, like, context of a horror story. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all superficial pieces that I feel to make it a better story to to make to make me want to like it more it needs to have a lot more depth and like more connections between like between Nancy and Hans, Madison Hale, Blue Knees, the the camera, the demon possession like why was she that way? It or it could all tie back to this church because Nancy told I'm I'm assuming if we read the between the lines, I'm assuming Nancy killed her husband because she said that, you know, God would forgive her for her sins. So I'm assuming Nancy killed her husband. So like, what if it centered around this church? That would kind of make a horror game wise, horror game logic, that would make a bit more sense if we like kind of connected it that way. Because, like, Madison Hill was buried in, um, or her service was at that church. Nancy went to confess to her, uh, her husband's murder at that church. Like, if there was a stronger connection between, like, Luca and that church, 
like maybe you know oh yeah i went to this church when i was younger or something something there needs to be a connection there there needs something and once again to have that be the only ending is bad like the game was so intriguing at least i felt like it could have like i finished it in less than six hours i really feel like it could have used at least maybe two to three more hours of gameplay because the story felt unfinished and like okay going back to prognostic that i played like forever ago prognostic had two endings you could either say like no grandma you can't take my soul and like you you didn't join her and she didn't like that demon didn't get you and you went back to like the moral realm and it's like oh oh i need to figure this out which honestly that game needs a, either a sequel or a dlc where they expand it but there was that ending or you could join her she got your soul boohoo bad ending like there were at least two endings and it only took like literally one decision to make two different it literally came down to the very end and it was like five minutes either way it's like you make choice a you get to see like a couple more minutes of that you make choice b a couple more minutes of that it wasn't like you make a choice and then all of a sudden you're oh down this whole other game path it was good overall i did like the game it was fun it was scary like when i could figure out the puzzles it was like it was it was intriguing like i wanted to know more but it's the fact that I wanted to know more that really kind of like brings it down for me. Yeah, it was a good scary game. If it, that's the thing, it's stuck in this weird realm of like something that Markiplier would play in like three scary games versus like a fully fledged like multifaceted horror game. It's stuck in this weird limbo um, what other games do I have? <sighs> See, and I like, I only got caught in a death loop like twice, but it was, it was a skill issue, like pure and simple, like, but it was easily avoidable when I knew the tricks on how to actually do it. Um, cause I was thinking about At Outlast. Outlast is just, you get stuck in a death loop until you like can like speed run perfectly and it's literally you have to get the timing exactly right there's no tips there's no tricks like you run and you run as fast as you can and try not to run out of battery um i honestly really am not a huge fan of outlast i get it it's on there um the only so we have faz obviously it's a skill issue um to replace okay um here I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this to the, the just chatting I'm gonna turn off Madison so we're, we're gonna be a little just chatting thing like it's just it's too hard for me like when you die it's extremely unforgiving um, I'm looking through, so we're on the just chatting screen because I'm looking through my games. So for scary games, we have Phasmophobia, we have The Forest, we never finished The Talos Principle, I've already done In Sound Mind, Sons of the Forest, um, Prognostic I've already done. Prey was more of like a, a adventure type game. I already completed the room. Okay, we have Outlast, which were it's on the list. I mean, there's Forewarned, but I really don't want to play that without other people. Um, we already have Undertale in there. Ooh, I have Alice Madness Returns. I have Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Those are more like story based ones.
A forewarned is like Faz. If Faz was set in like Egypt and you had to deal with like mummies and spirits. Uh, but like I said, I don't really want to play that one without people. But yeah, Alice Madness Returns, Amnesia the Dark Descent. I don't really play scary games. So it's like... Ugh. And then I have Outlast 2. But I didn't want to do Outlast 2 until I finished Outlast 1. But this, at this point, I'm like, I'm, I, I don't like it. <laughs> It's just, it's not a game I'm comfortable with, but I, like, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. But that's kind of what we have. And then I have, like, all these, like, free games, which are kind of poop. No, no, I have seen that game. I don't need that game. <laughs> I don't need that. What? Why you, why you want to hurt me? Why you want to hurt me this way? Um, what do I have on my wish list? Um, a game that, um, Khan suggested is actually on sale right now. I'm considering getting that one. I want to get Shadows Over Loathing so bad, except nobody, we never played, um, West of Loathing, which I love. I loved that one. Um, and then Tales from Candleforth. That's on my list as well. It's, let's see, Tales from Candle Candleforth is a folk horror 2D point and click game with puzzles and escape room mechanics that narrates the fairy tale from the village. Uh, the text contained in this text and evil book is now bleeding out, mixing the world of nightmares with the real one through handmade, I'm assuming it's like two-dimensional something, but for some odd reason you can't read the whole thing. But like that's on my list. And that's a horror game, technically. It reminds me, it's like very Franbo-esque. Okay, but is it like needlessly scary? <laughs> Like, that's the thing is, like, if it's, I want a game that actually has, like, a good story. And how much did I, how much did I actually buy Madison for? That's another question. Um, account details? Ba, ba, where's my order history? View purchase history. How much, okay, how much did I buy it for? Please tell me I didn't spend that much. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh, heckin' disappointment. I spent twenty four sixty on Madison. Um... That I don't like. No. No, okay, I got it for a percentage off. Why is it telling me that my total is higher? Did I really spend that much money? How much is the game originally? Uh, store page. Holy crap! Okay, I got it on a discount. So that twenty four sixty something was on a discount. It was thirty five dollars originally. Ooh, ouch. Okay, even at a discount, I got thirty five percent off. Twenty four dollars for six point eight. The point eight is me talking. Um, but twenty four. Oh, 25. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. 25 with tax. $25 for 6.8 hours of gameplay. Roughly. That is going to be a hard pass. If I spent between, 
okay, if I spent $20, maybe, I will nickel and dime this. If I spent $20, even better, like, 17 that I could maybe see, but $25 for that amount of gameplay with one ending that left me unsatisfied. Mm, that rubs me the wrong way. I don't necessarily like that. Hmm. Okay, uh, people wanted it. Like, Alex wanted it so bad. And I didn't know if I could get it on a better sale because I wanted to play it, like, soon. <sighs> okay, now that I know, I honestly thought I would be getting, like, 10 plus hours of gameplay. I thought. <laughs> okay, let me go down. I'm going to go down to the... We're going, like, in depth with this. I'm going to look at the reviews. Okay, okay. I'm going to read out the times, the times that it took, or how much gameplay. It was a good game, but at the same time, like literally, first comment, game is good, but at $35, I cannot recommend this four hour game. They have 6.3 hours, so I'm assuming they spent time paused in the game, which I think still qualifies you as being in the game. Okay, so 15.9, 8.7, 4.3, 5.1, 7.2, 6.2, 9.4, 9.8, 8.7, 7 7.2, 1.9. The 1.9 spooked for five minutes, confused for eternity. Why, play, why make puzzles big brain? <laughs> okay, that's fair. That is fair. I'm assuming they couldn't figure out some of the puzzles, like, no matter how hard they tried. 12.5. Who took 12.5 hours unless they redid it? 28.5. I'm assuming they played multiple times. 7.4, 9.9, 9, 12.6. There is going to be a DLC... But if it's not a free DLC, I cannot abide the price. Like, I feel like I got gouged for spending even what I did. So if the DLC is not free, like, Concerned Ape would never charge me that much for, for an update. Um, and it's like, what is that going to have? Like... Because the other one is, what, the Maxwell's Curse? So Maxwell is the family name. We're Luca Maxwell. So it's like, what What would the DLC be? And honestly, I know they're going to charge for it. So it's like... <sighs> you would not take that long. You are actually good at puzzle games. Like, Nancy Drew's just convoluted sometimes. <laughs> but that's the thing. They both suffer from the same thing. The puzzles don't flow logically, and there's not enough context to make you draw the conclusion on how to get from one to the next. But, like, I am, I am full on down a rabbit hole here of, like, of my, my distaste. Like, the reviews are very positive, but honestly, okay, let me... I'm going to read all the negative reviews. So it only has uh, 2,473. 310 of those are negative reviews. I want to see. I'm guessing they're going to say the same things. Um, cookie cutter experience. Trending, be trending because spams, jump scares, shaky cams, and loud noises. The camera. I don't know about anybody else. I was getting sick. The flashing lights were making me sick. Like, I get there's a photosensitivity warning in the beginning, but, like, there are literally parts of the games you can't get through without the flashy lights. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, wow. So this is a very long 
This is a very long review, but they have the good, the meh, and the bad. Their overall review, uh, overall the game isn't really good or bad in my opinion, just kind of meh. Uh, this makes it hard to recommend for the price, especially considering it is only a five to six hour experience that has little replay value. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> also, the PS, it's, it's blocked for, uh... Spoilers, but it says, <laughs> In what world is Blue Knees a book you buy for your child? I second, third, fourth, like eternity that statement. Who in the Sam Hill bought that and was like, Here you go, Johnny. Here's a good book for you. Don't, don't turn out the lights. Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's not appropriate. In what? That dad was messed up. And then when his wife was scared, oh, honey, you're just sick. You're overreacting. Go make me dinner. Like, what the? Dude! I have feelings. I have feelings about all this. Oh, uh, let's see. Too much running around trying to figure out random puzzles that leave no clues. Yes. All the yes. Um, oh my gosh, I love these ones. The it, It's like a checklist, but graphics, they gave it good. Uh, so the scale goes from the bottom being uh, MS-DOS to... Uh, <laughs> Don't look too long at it. To bad, to decent, to good, to beautiful, to you forget what reality is. They put good. I would say that the graphics are actually really nice. Like, they were very detailed. Uh, gameplay <laughs> goes from just don't, watch paint dry instead. Meh, it's just gameplay. Good, very good. They gave it watch paint dry instead. Okay. Okay. Uh, audio. From the bottom, I'm now deaf, bad, not too bad, good, very good, eargasm. I would say there were a lot of creaks and moans and like whispers and I would say it was good. I would say it was good bordering on very good. Like some of, some of the stuff was actually like really atmospheric and nice. Others was just like, oh my gosh, like I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Luca. I was, you can do silent mode where they don't, he doesn't talk. I, Luca was too, too whiny for me. Audience, grandma, adults, teens, kids. This is adults. It, adults to like late teens. I would say like preteens don't need this. Um, PC requirements. I really feel like it kind of bogged my computer down a bit. Uh, okay, so for difficulty, it goes just press W, easy, easy to learn, hard to master, significant brain usage, difficult, dark souls. They put this as easy. I would rank this as significant brain usage. Yeah, I'm like that, that ending, okay, that ending should have had... <sighs> I feel like there should have been a stronger warning about the content. Because, like, I get the photosensitivity warning. But, like, you kind of glance over those in the beginning anyway. Because it's not something you have to click through. So, that is not for young, impressionable children. Especially not kids who have a darker, like, sense of, like, darker interests. Like, okay, photos of body parts... Not okay. Not okay for younger audiences. The, the the concept of how the ending goes. Not appropriate for teens. Body parts. Body <laughs> we're, we're talking about the ending of the game. Um I Oh, thank you, Pander, for the raid. We're, like, at the very end. I'm so sorry. Um, we're talking about the ending of the game. But, like, even before that, I think in, the, like, the first or second episode, you get to see, like, the photos of body parts. Like, it's not 
it's not appropriate for younger audiences. Um, let's see. Grind. Lois being nothing to grind. Only if you care about leadership or leaderboard slash ranks. Isn't necessary to progress. Average grind level. Too much grind. You'll need a second life for grinding. <laughs> um, yeah. How, how was... Yes, we finished it. It's short. It is a short game. Like, it's really short. It was a very, very dark ending. Um, that's what we've been spending the last, like, half hour talking about. Um, it was disappointing. There is only one ending. There's no secret endings, no good ending. Like, it, there is one ending and one alone, and I did not agree with it. So, yeah, there is that. Also, we figured out how much I paid for it. Um, I was robbed. <laughs> I was robbed for the amount of gameplay we got. The story... Oh, the story... Yeah, no, it, it could have it been better. Yes, yes! See? See? Okay, yeah. Only one ending. Also, I, I have Animal Crossing on my Switch, and I want to play it on stream, but I don't want to get rid of my island because, like, I spent a long time. So I would just be playing an island that, like, already exists, which I feel like is not good gameplay, but I would, like, want that. Because, like, I like starting- it's- it- it goes back to the first game I did. I did Stardew, and I was playing a farm that already existed. So, if I was using my current house or like a current island, then I feel like I would never want to play it on my own for fear of like, oh, by the way, while you guys were gone, I uh, I did this, 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 this. <laughs> I have my husband's Switch. I can play it on that. I have a Switch. He has a Switch. I have a Steam Deck. Hey, hey, he's got a, he's got a switch. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Like, it's, it's a thought. I have a capture card. I have an Elgato that I could use. Um, game time. Too short. Too short. Prognostic was okay being six hours. This game with all the story and all the convoluted storylines and everything that needed to be there, too short. Um, price! I'm with this person. Actually, okay, so it goes, it's free, worth the price if it's on sale. If you have some spare money laying around, not recommended. You can also just burn your money. I'm going with the last one. You can also just burn it. <laughs> like, that was, that was excessive. I want a Stardew collab. I have wanted a Stardew collab forever. I love it. I have two farms that I do with other people. I really want to do a Four Corners farm and have at least three other people with me. Super easy. All I do is host a farm and then we get it done. Like, all I have to do is host it and you guys join. Like... I want. <laughs> I know. Not I want. I need. I need this. But yeah. <sighs> but uh, bugs is next. It's uh, never heard of. Minor bugs can get annoying. Ark survival evolved, and the game itself is a big terrarium for bugs. Um, I don't think I actually experienced any bugs or glitches. It. Like it, yeah. Yeah, no, it it wasn't buggy at all. The only thing that was slightly buggy was the camera, but that's actually my mouse being broken, not the game. It's not the game's fault. <laughs> the reason I couldn't get the camera up, like, and it kept like twitching, was because of my mouse. Uh, but yeah, that's where we stand on that. And I've been streaming for an hour and 46 minutes, and most of it is just me whinging about the game. <laughs> Overall, it was a good experience. It was too expensive. 
But the story for what it was, it was intriguing. I want to know more. I, I really wish that they had like fleshed it out better because I want to know. I'm like actually extremely intrigued. They just didn't answer any of the questions they laid the foundation for. So, uh, like I said, overall, I say five point seven five out of ten. We'll give it that. Uh, nah, graphics. We'll bump it up to six. Straight six. That is what I'm going to say. That is my final. But anywho. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow with another episode of my Discord member's choice. But until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their evening. And I hope to see you guys then. Bye! Oh, oh, raid, raid. We could raid. We could see, we could see who's open. Uh, Twitch. Let's see. I'm going to have to, like, cut out the whole, like, last half of this unless, unless people just want to watch that. Just listen to me talking about the game. Stream manager raid. Who do you got? Seiji! Let's go raid Seiji. Get ready! Oh, he's playing Little Nightmares too. Everyone go say hi to Seiji! I miss Desmond! Okay, bye!